Humans are the most intelligent creature to ever appear on Earth. This species that originated in Africa about 200,000 years ago has spread throughout the world and is adapting itself. We have gradually evolved from reptilian species into what we are today as humans. But this Earth which is in control of humans today was then equal to all living things. Scientists are aware of about 1.5 million animal species, but it's believed that there are almost 9 million total species, leaving many yet to be discovered. Some are incredibly small and most are medium-sized, like humans, lions, and bears. Few are enormous, but millions of years ago, gigantic animals were much more common than they are today. Yet to this day, one of the largest creatures to ever appear on Earth is still alive. Although the largest animals of that time were ordinary, let's look at the giant animals that stood out among them. So let's travel to some million years ago. Spinosaurus The Spinosaurus lived 90 to 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Spinosaurus is most notably known for its sail, which was made up of protruding spinal spikes on its back. Their long, narrow skulls house sharp teeth that resemble the modern-day crocodile. Spinosaurus is the biggest carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered. Recent estimates suggest a length between 13 to 16 meters long, 4 to 5 meters in height, and weighing between 5.6 to 8 tons. Their fossils were first discovered in Egypt by Bavarian paleontologist Freher Ernest Stromer in 1912. He discovered an unknown dinosaur with a gigantic jaw and five-foot spines, signaling that it had a sail or hump. He named it the Egyptian Spine Lizard, which translates to Spinosaurus. However, these fossils were destroyed in 1944 during World War II. So unfortunately, the only surviving evidence is the detailed drawings and descriptions archived in Germany. But later, between 1995 to 2008, fossils appeared to paleontologists. The largest amount of Spinosaurus fossils were found in a cave outside Erford, Morocco. With these bones, paleontologists finally have enough information to create the most defined Spinosaurus picture ever. The Spinosaurus was a carnivore, but it preferred eating fish. Some of the species it preyed on were giant coelacanths, sawfish, large lungfish, and sharks. Because of its fin-bike tail and webbed feet, which looked like large paddles, it believed that Spinosaurus hunted in water. The Spinosaurus was first discovered in Egypt, but many researchers believe it originated in Western Europe. After the continent started to split, they migrated down to North Africa. The adult Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore of its time, making it unlikely to have many threats. However, their young ones developed in eggs and were probably the size of a small dog when hatching. So it is probable that they were preyed on by predators. Unfortunately, they died out 30 million years before the T-Rex showed up. Brachiosaurus The Brachiosaurus were members of the sauropod family, one of a group of four-legged plant-eating dinosaurs with long necks and short tails and relatively small brains. They are one of the most well-known of all dinosaurs. Most of the kids' toy dinosaurs are Brachiosaurus. It's known for its long neck. It's likely to have eaten leaves and tall trees. Brachiosaurus and its family have two notable features that distinguish them from other sauropods. Their front legs are prominently longer than their real legs, and their neck is upright. They are believed to have lived in North America during the late Jurassic, about 150 million years ago. Brachiosaurus is estimated to have been between 18 to 22 meters long, 16 meters in height, and weight between 60 to 80 tons. The first Brachiosaurus fossils were discovered in 1900 by Elmer S. Riggs in the Grand River Canyon of western Colorado in the United States. Paleontologists once believed that Brachiosaurus mainly lived in water partly due to its nostrils being at the top of its egg-shaped head. But for several reasons, this was unlikely the case. For one thing, sauropods had air-filled pockets inside their bodies, which would have made them relatively buoyant and unstable if they entered deep water. The dinosaur's skull had a wide muzzle and thick jaws that housed spoon-like sharp teeth, perfectly suited for stripping vegetation. Scientists believe Brachiosaurus swallowed vegetation whole, as its teeth were suited to stripping vegetation but not breaking up large chunks of plants. Titanosaurus 
Titanosaurus, where a diverse group of sauropod dinosaurs, including genera from all seven continents. The Titanosaurus, where the last great group of long-necked sauropods, which existed from about 90 to 60 million years ago, from the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event. This group includes some of the largest land animals known to have ever existed on Earth, such as Patagotian and Argentinosaurus. Patagotian Mayorum is estimated at 37 meters long, with a weight of 75 to 90 tons. Many fossils of this dinosaur have been found, including a thigh bone that measured 2.4 meters long. Titanosaurs were widespread. In December 2011, Argentina sauropods Titanosaurus fossils were found in Antarctica, meaning they lived all around the Earth. Although no complete skeletons of Argentinosaurus have been found, estimates of the dinosaur's length range from 37 to 40 meters, and it was thought to have weighed 99 to 110 tons. By these measures, Argentinosaurus was the largest dinosaur, as well as the largest land animal ever known. These dinosaurs were so big when they were full grown that anything that lived at that time could not even stare. The Titanosaur was a fairly peaceful creature, even if approached by a survivor on a mount, Titanosaurs were content with roaming the land in search of food. So long as Titanosaurs were not attacked, they would not harm anybody. However, Titanosaur bowed to no one. Like other sauropods, they eat a ton of plants a day. Titanosaurs were quadrupedal dinosaurs, but a massive, heavy one in the trunk, and therefore likely spent significant time in the water. Even though the largest dinosaurs like Argentinosaurs roamed the Earth millions of years ago, one animal larger than all of them still lives with us today. Blue Whale Blue whales are one of the largest animals ever known to have lived on Earth. These magnificent marine mammals rule the oceans at up to 33 meters in length and upwards of 200 tons. Their tongue alone can weigh as much as an elephant. Their hearts are as big as a car. This is more than double the weight of the largest land animal, 100-ton Argentinosaurs. The primary diet of blue whales is krill tiny shrimp-like animals, but fish and copepods may occasionally be part of the whale's diet. Its stomach can hold one ton of krill, and it needs to eat about four tons each day. They are not only the largest animal, but also the loudest animal on Earth, even louder than a jet engine. Their call reaches 188 decibels, while the jet reaches 140 decibels. Their low-frequency whistle can be heard for hundreds of miles and is probably used to attract other blue whales. Blue whales are found in all oceans except the Arctic Ocean. Antarctic blue whales are generally larger than other blue whales. Like many other baleen whales, female blue whales are generally larger than males. Their average lifespan is estimated at around 80 to 90 years. The global blue whale population is estimated to be 5,000 to 15,000 mature individuals and 10,000 to 25,000 total as of 2018. Sadly, 66 million years ago an asteroid hit the Earth and wiped out a maximum of species that lived on Earth. If that asteroid hadn't hit the Earth, humans wouldn't have probably evolved. But with nature's flow, we have evolved, and mankind has a long way to go through the universe. At that time, dinosaurs didn't have humans to save them from the asteroid hit. Although humans cause the destruction of some animals, they have the capability to save the whole species living on Earth from future asteroid events.